The news of veteran NBA center Jason Collins coming out as a gay man Monday seemingly eclipsed other sports headlines, but several media outlets are now openly criticizing ESPN for failing to recognize the story for what it really is, a history-making sports story. Sports Illustrated posted this story Monday morning, a first-person narrative by Jason Collins about why he finally decided to come out. The disclosure by Collins is a first for an active professional athlete in a major team sport. The news traveled quickly as ESPN dialed in sports writer LZ Granderson, who is also black and gay, to give his thoughts. I will tell you that I love the fact that he took ownership of his story and he shared his story and it wasn't an outing. But other media outlets cried foul. A writer for Politico posted this picture of ESPN's website three hours after the story broke and said, it seems to be of less significance to ESPN, which has buried the story on its website with a small link on the sidebar. Perhaps ESPN believes its viewers are more interested in the fate of NFL QBs and the Los Angeles Lakers than they are in an athlete's sexuality. A writer for Deadspin suggested the sports network opted out of heavy coverage of Collins because a rival outlet got the scoop. Deadspin also posted a montage of ESPN's broadcasted content before mentioning Collins. Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow's Tebow package, butt fumble. Hours after the story emerged, critics didn't exactly back off of ESPN. Their attention quickly turned to sports analyst Chris Broussard after he said this. If you're openly living that type of lifestyle, then the Bible says you know them by their fruits. It says that, you know, that's a sin. Broussard went on to say as a Christian, he also believes premarital sex and adultery are sinful lifestyles. One Yahoo Sports writer characterized Broussard's comments as dismissive and said Broussard's thoughts serve no purpose on this particular program and it's infuriating that Chris would go to this place immediately after talking up the massive outpouring of support he referenced from NBA players earlier in the program while giving his twisted take on the but I have friends that are gay defense while talking up his friendship with Granderson. Outlets quickly pointed to Broussard's take on former NBA player John Amici's 2007 coming out when Broussard echoed a similar religious refrain. Also highlighted in that article, Broussard's relationship with Granderson. He wrote, that's real diversity, disagreeing but not being disagreeable. But not everyone thought ESPN botched the coverage of Collins. A writer for Policy Mike explains why the snide remarks about the sports network aren't warranted. It seems to me that the popularity of this story is based on the interest of non-sports fans. ESPN is not as motivated as other news sources to flock to politicized news events, and that is how it should be. Since Sports Illustrated posted the article, several celebrities, including Bill Clinton, Kobe Bryant, and John Amici, have all tweeted support for Collins. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.